this shot looks really bad right now. What I'm gonna do is go for just more like a bright and happy look as opposed to what I'm seeing right now. Maybe coffee in the morning. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that window right there as, and I guess that one back there is kind of my motivation for a key light and make this look just a little bit better, a little bit happier, a little bit um, more natural looking like the windows are lighting us and get rid of all of this tungsten light. So that's the first step. Now it's obviously really dark. That's kind of a good thing because now we can control the light even more. So now I'm gonna use the Siconic C800 and I'm getting 6,500 Kelvin. So I'm gonna bring a key light. I'm gonna put a key light right here. I'm gonna use the Amaran 200 XS. Looks like I can dial in the color temperature since it's bi-color. This was already set up from my office. Makes it a lot easier for this video. Okay, so that's 55.69 here, uh, but I don't like how hard that looks, so I'm going to soften that even more. I've got magic cloth on here. That'll soften it up a ton. It'll lose a bunch of exposure, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. So that looks pretty good. I might bring it down a touch, and then I think the background needs to have a, a little bit of exposure lift just to kind of balance it out and make it look a little bit less moody and more natural. So I'll bring in this light, the iFootage 200 BNA. And I'll set that to 6200 Kelvin. And bouncing off of the ceiling, I'm getting a average reading of about 5600 Kelvin. If I cool it down a little bit more, if I cool it down more, I get a reading of 5,700 Kelvin. So I honestly think that looks a little bit more balanced, kind of the look I'm going for. I can maybe bump the exposure a little bit on the 200XS to like 50%. If I AB that, you can see just how much more natural that looks. The only thing I'm seeing here is like a, a weird shadow and that's from this window in my kitchen so I'm gonna fix that then that gives me a much better contrast level there I'm pretty sure I'm in focus I've got edge focus on right here um, so that looks pretty sweet so I'm happy with this I think this looks pretty good and you can kind of see like it looks more natural now and my memory card filled up, so I had to go put a, a new one in. So um, this Siconic C800 is kind of is kind of the the topic of this video, and also I guess a lighting breakdown. It is such a useful tool to have in your kit. Just knowing what color temperature your light sources are, and like for example, like right here, I'm getting I'm getting 5600 Kelvin with a color correction of 0.7 M, which would mean it's uh, a little bit on the greener side, which is kind of a good thing because the 200 BNA, the eye footage that I have back there, uh, also just naturally just tends to be more green than my Amaran 200 XS. So that actually kind of works out. But if I were to bring in a Nova or some other light to act as just a small fill, I would know to dial in those settings and, and dial in the settings while looking at this to make sure I was getting the same reading, 5600 Kelvin and a 0.7 M color correction. Sorry, my kid's freaking out because I'm taking the kitchen hostage and my wife is probably stoked about me right now too. Uh, but I would know to basically bring in the light and if I'm using any diffusion material or anything like that, like a, another magic cloth or a softbox, I would know to warm up or cool down that light to maybe 6,000 depending on the fabric to warm that light up and I would have this to measure that light to know exactly what color temperature that is and then since this light is leaning a little bit more green I would know to add a little bit green to whatever that light was especially if it's an RGB 
WW or, or whatever light you have if it has a green magenta function. And that's super helpful to be able to, to use this tool and make those corrections on the fly and not have to get back into post-production and realize that one of your lights is super off, whether it's super green or magenta or super warm or super cool. Having a tool like this, you'll know exactly the, the light and, and the color of light for all of your lights so you can make your white balance decisions on set. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.